Break units open and use them to make stoichiometries so much easier on MCAT. In this video, I'll be showing a foolproof way to do stoichiometry for chemistry questions on MCAT. But after, make sure to watch our other MCAT without memorizing formulas videos for physics. The playlist link will pop up at the end of this video. The question I chose is actually from a passage. Pause the video if you would like to read it before getting into the question. However, with our break units open tactics, reading the entire passage isn't really necessary. The question asks, if the meter measured 0.8 micromole of electrons, what mass of glucose was present in the blood sample? I know after reading the question, you want to jump to the passage because you may feel a little lost about the meter in the blood sample, whether or not you read the passage, and overwhelmed by how you're going to go from micromoles of electrons to micrograms of glucose, because it immediately feels like there's not enough information provided to calculate an answer. But don't immediately jump to the passage. Follow these steps. After reading the question and realizing you have to calculate an answer, check what unit is needed in the answer micrograms of glucose, and write that unit down, because we're actually going to start stoichiometry with the value that has that unit. This may feel unintuitive at first, and unlike how you learn stoichiometry, but starting with the value that has the unit we need in the answer is a foolproof way of not getting lost in stoichiometry steps and making sure the answer is exactly what they're asking for. The unit that is needed in the answer must be on top. So we're going to start with micrograms of glucose and let it guide what numbers to use and whether those numbers should go on the top or bottom of our stoic grid. Then, recheck the question stem for any hint of grams of glucose value, micro or not. And if none, then scan the passage. Pause the video again if you'd like a moment to scan the passage. I know what you feel after scanning the passage. There's no grams of glucose value anywhere. Well, don't fret you have a periodic table pop-up on MCAT. Anytime you need grams, whether in an answer or to cancel grams, but no grams info is given in the question stem or passage, use molecular mass. You can use your periodic table to sum the masses of C6H12O6, but it's also a good idea to just know the molecular formula and mass of glucose for MCAT. But I'll give it to you, 180 grams per mole and you can convert that to micrograms by multiplying it to 10 to the 6th, which is the micro conversion factor. And because what you do to the top of a fraction, you must also do to the bottom, you also have to multiply 10 to the 6th to the unseen one on the bottom. But the 10 to the 6th on the top and bottom cancel each other, leaving us with 180 micrograms over micromoles. So skip that one converting, especially since the answers are small whole numbers, not 10 to the 6th kind of numbers and just apply micro to the top and bottom units, making it 180 micrograms per micromole, which is just the same as adding conversion factors. A little side note tip for you. So we're actually starting stoichiometry with 180 micrograms of glucose over micromole of glucose. I know it's tempting to jump to the passage at this point, but wait just one more second. Let's first figure out what we'll need next for stoichiometry. Micrograms is needed in the answer, which means micromoles must be canceled out. So now we have focus when scanning the passage and awareness for any information involving micromoles of glucose. So when scanning the passage, keep in mind that we need some numerical information regarding micromoles or even moles of glucose this time. Glucose was mentioned a few times in the text and shown in the reaction figure, but the only reference to glucose that had any relevant useful numerical information was 2-electron oxidation of glucose. Plus, this is relevant information to the 0.8 micromoles of electrons mentioned in the question stem. So, two electrons are used to oxidize one glucose, which in the grand scheme of chemistry is just like saying two moles of electrons per one mole of glucose. And per the tip I gave you earlier, you can make it two micromoles of electrons per one micromole of glucose. Now back to stoichiometry. In order to cancel the micromole of glucose out, we have to flip the conversion so that one micromole of glucose is on the top. And now you can clearly see that we have to cancel out micromoles of electrons, which is easy because we have 0.8 micromoles of electrons in the question stem that we haven't used yet. 
So we can place that on the top in our stoichiometry to cancel out the micromoles of electrons below. And now the only units left are micrograms of glucose, which is what we need, which means we're done with the setup and all that's left to do is multiply everything on the top and divide by everything on the bottom. But as I always remind my students, don't make big numbers bigger just to have to make them smaller again. Reduce first, then multiply and divide, which makes C the correct answer. You can get more MCAT without memorizing formulas examples and MCAT practice questions with detailed explanations in our book, Break Units Open. The link for the book and a set of flashcards with the units to know for MCAT is in the description below. Simple as that. Thank <laughs> you.